guys so welcome to tech design so in this tutorial we will discuss about closed corner that is available in this uh, corner group as you can see here this is a closed corner command so before going to start that this is the you know uh, say example uh, that I have taken for uh, you know to uh, give an closed corner here so you can see here there is a one flange here and the other flange is over here and I would like to give an closed corner for this uh, you know corner so as the name suggests it will close the corner uh, with the different different options we have uh, inside uh, with a circular cutout and some VU cutout and V cutouts so let us see how that works so for example uh, if you have an uh, you know base uh, flange and then you want to have a counter flange with a closed corner or any corner uh, you know setup you can just go to counter flange uh, this counter flange will have uh, these option closed corner or option as well as it will create a extra flange so if you already have a you know flanges and then a corner and if you want to give a closed corner for that and then directly you can just go to this command and uh, use it so I'll just click uh, you know close corner and okay here you can see here we have a uh, two options here closed and relief and then only relief so now we can just do zoom into this position <coughs> As you can see here, my uh, you know corner will be this. So closed and relief will you know close the uh, corner and then it will provide some relief. So relief is nothing but only it will just give the relief. So most of the cases, close and relief will uh, you know will be uh, very useful. So in close and relief, uh, we need to select uh, two bends. So this is my first bend and this is my second bend. So as soon as you select them, as as you can see here, uh, these flanges are extended and they are. Uh, um, mating each other to make a corner so this is a open type of corner and we have uh, I'm just going to dis uh, discuss these things uh, in detail and now we will uh, you know talk about overlap overlap is nothing but uh, we have two options here closed so closed is nothing but we have a closed corner here so if you give overlap one side of you know flange will be extended and the other sort of, uh, side of a flange is coming and uh, you know uh, just uh, hitting that uh, other adjacent flange so if you want to give any gap between these two and uh, you can just mention it here so if you give 1 mm and you can see there will be a 1 mm of gap between these two flanges so let us keep it as a zero so this will be uh, make sense in when you are uh, making a closed corner so i'll keep it closed and we have multiple options here these options are already discussed in uh, you know counter flange command so if you have not checked please go through that um, video and check it out in my sheet metal uh, playlist so in our uh, I will also show you how these works so open is nothing but you can see here there will be an open uh, you know um, corner uh, that is developed and if you give closed it will be completely closed you don't have any you know uh, open area so this is nothing but an open and also we have a circular cutout so which will have a circular cutout and if you want to control this diameter of this circle you can just control it over here and uh, there are some you know center point where you want to define a center point whether from this center point or uh, somewhere with the offsetted uh, center point if you want you can just enter it here so this is nothing but a circular cutout and uh, U cutout is nothing but it will have a U shape so these kind of shapes will be uh, only be visible very clearly when you unbend all the uh, you know sheet metal components so when you make a flat pattern of this component then you will be able to see a new shape and uh, this is a V shape and there are similar you know rectangle cutouts so we'll have a rectangle here and if you want to control the these dimensions you can control it here so mostly uh, you will have an open and closed will be uh, frequently used and here this is closed and over overlap both can be used but closed is the most uh, uh, commonly used so this is how this closed corner works guys so one tip I can able to give you here is mm, you have a base flange and you want to create a adjacent flange and uh, with corner relief then go for a counter flange command so this will have a uh, flange as well as this corners uh, command existing inside this uh, if you have already in uh, closed cor uh, already corner is existing and you just need to close them then uh, directly come here and use this command guys so i hope you understand how this uh, close corner works uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys